Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working uh, on a mixed media collage piece and I'm working with my jelly plate. I've uh, put a nice layer of yellow ochre. Um, this time I'm using the golden fluid paint and um, just looking for a nice area to start with to activate the surface. And next you'll see me add a little bit of titanium buff to it just to lighten up the value a little to make it a little more different. Always looking for those, uh, those differences just to make your art more interesting. Okay, so I'm cleaning up my uh, jelly plate with a, I think it's a, it's a wipe. And uh, you probably hear my dog in the background. That's okay. He's my studio dog. And here is a piece of uh, tissue collage. I make these bunches and I like to use them with black. And because they're sort of the transparency of the tissue paper looks really cool on top of another surface. And I'm tearing the edges just for that organic look and trimming them with the scissors because on the outer edge it doesn't really matter. So playing around, which do I want in front? Which do I want behind? Uh, this, is, this is where collage is great because you can just grab stuff that feels good and then move it around and uh, try to respond rather than doing too much uh, overthinking. I'm using a Mod Podge mat for this collage, I believe. You can also use gloss. So I'm smoothing it out just to make sure the bubbles are, are out of there, but trying not to be too rough because it can tear a little bit. Okay, so I'm just getting ideas, reaching for some other stuff that I've placed there earlier as a possibility. I'm not sure. I think it's too similar to the other piece, so I don't use it. And I'm grabbing some more orange. So I'm looking to complete that whole horizontal area of an, a warm orange red across the uh, foreground. Okay. And uh, I knew I was going to use this image, either some of it or part of it, and I really love the texture of the uh, the grasses in this. So you can see I'm playing around, should I use the actual parts of the image? Or I know I'm, I'm not going to use the barn, so it's, it's going. And so then I decide to use a more, in the end, a more abstract version of, well, that looks sort of cool, but yet it's too, it's too literal. Nice. So what I really like about this is its uh, similarity to the ochre that's already, that I've already laid down. As you can see, I'm trying to look for just subtle differences here. So we're always, uh, we're usually using uh, uh, the quiet conversation and the loud conversation. I use uh, a lot of my own images. Also other ones that I find in magazines. Uh, that's, uh, I believe, sort of a Japanese papers, scraps, 
anything that's really interesting. So now I'm back to this. And then I finally decide to take it across the whole piece as well in a, another horizontal area. Uh, as you'll see later on, I eventually deal with that untouched area above the grass with very, very, very something really interesting. Okay, so I'm probably pausing and thinking here. Trying not to do too much thinking. Oh, so this is a, um, oh, what's the crayon? It's a china marker. I use uh, white, black. I'm just trying to activate that surface and just Make do some mark making. This is the nickel azo gold of golden. It's one of the most translucent or transparent um, warm reds. And then, as I can see, it's too strong. So it's great to have those wipes ready, so you can add on, remove, whatever you need. And it doesn't. The china marker is wax, so it. It won't get interfered with. So I'm just uh, that was a little bit of an alcohol spritz. It helps take off more if you need it. It also softens the the uppermost layer, so I can use my scratching tool and make a few more interesting marks. Yes, here's that teal or turquoise strip. Yeah, which way? So I decide to go that way. Either way would have been, it is good. But now, looking at uh, the video, I would have stuck with the first, uh, the, the upside down way. I don't know why, it just it would have been more interesting. But hey, <laughs> you gotta go with the flow. So then I'm just planning my next move. So I love sky, I love elements of sky, rock, water, even if it's a simple one. So I'm playing with scale here right now. So it's too big. Um, now I'm deciding on some shape, going to that triangle. Then I think, oh no, no, it's too, no, it's not working. So then I change the shape again. And this uh, little pentagon shape, I use a lot in my work. It symbolizes many things. So I guess uh, here I'm wanting more sky showing. And I'm playing with putting it close to that blue strip or Thinking a little higher up, adding that space, and I think that's a better placement. Smoothing it out. And there I'm grabbing that warm piece of collage again. It ends up in here. <laughs> It just takes a while. <laughs> hmm. Oh, more China marker. Yes, my uh, vertical little marks. You'll find too that you might use marks, find yourself using symbols that you like a lot and that, that just adds to your voice in your work which is a great thing. Yeah, so I decide, well, no, there's enough of that warm orange in here. What else could I use? Yes. 
I thought of it, but I didn't end up using it. Here I'm trimming the blue away, thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe not, no, too literal again. There's that little piece. I know it's going to be in here. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I decide to trim it down. And put the straight edge on the outer edge, which is very interesting. It's subtle. And then I'm adding, as you can see, that yellow ochre, that little spot on the left next to the teal. Just needs to be fixed up. Then, of course, blending it in using that uh, wipe again. Those are very handy to keep on, keep right beside you where you're working. And as you notice, the uh, China marker marks, they're, they're, they're messy, they're inconsistent, but that's what I like about it. It doesn't look overly planned or perfect. Now I'm using this clear, my plan is to use it like a stamp or a stencil. Once you flip it over, you can place these random drops, but I, cho I choose to uh, just use the brush and just add more of an atmospheric, just to change that around, just so the eye goes across the top. It doesn't, it doesn't go off. So the viewer's eye keeps going across the top. And then I'm doing some more scratching in that layer. Yes, I like the subtlety of that, the quiet voice or the quiet conversation. This adds to the symmetry. Just gives that shape a little more of an anchor. In the end, the uh, gold metallic and gray piece there that I just put, it's in the upper left hand corner, that does end up in the piece in strips. Um, you'll see at the end what I finally choose to do. Sometimes there's some minor adjustments near the end that I'll do after I finish recording, but that's all part of the process. So I love text and just a little bit um, using imagery, text, and symbols in my work. Okay, I'm looking for another piece. Oh, nope. Hmm. What will I do next? Oh, yes. It does give it even more of an anchor. So it's just a tiny piece of collage very similar to the background so it's it's a subtle contrast and I'm just tearing it enough it just gives that little symbol more of a platform smoothing it out just putting a nice coat of that matte medium on top And um, you can choose as well for a collage piece to finish with a gloss coating of medium over the whole thing. It is a little shiny, but it really brings out the uh, hues. Yeah, so I finally decided to 
use those drops in a very just random way and then you can just rub off what you don't like and yeah just taking that down just lessening that contrast and yes Just searching for those finishing touches. And you'll know too, when you find it just doesn't need any more. And there it is, the last piece. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.